All right, moving on with this Yamaha 650. I get the uh, kiss yesterday in the mailbox. So anyway, I've been fiddling around getting ready to put this in. I think the owner, Bobby, is going to come out tomorrow and we'll have a, a morning fiddling around putting this in. Anyway, I was just getting ready to, to get this installed. The, uh, this being a, uh, an electronic ignition bike anyway, it did not have the bushings in here in the camshaft. Now, you can convert these back to uh, standard ignition, but, I mean, we've got this electronic ignition kit here, so we might as well use it. So, anyway... The camshafts are the same as the old ones. They're hollow inside and they have a bushing that takes the advance unit, which runs on the other side of the engine, runs across to this side where the points are. And uh, so in order to fit this, uh, this electronic kit in, I had to make some bushings up to fit in here. Now these aren't actual bushings. They're really more like spacers. It's just some slugs of aluminum that I've machined up to go in there. So there's one on the left side, one over here on the right side. This is actually part of the kit, this little piece of steel that you see right here. But inside there's a bushing as well. So anyway, it's all set to go for when Bobby drops by tomorrow. And uh, I said we'll put the ignition uh, unit in place and get her timed up and see if we can get her running. Anyways, and uh, what's the other little thing? Oh, I've taken the power wire out of the ignition system plug here so that I can use that to connect the boiler system up. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. Bobby here today. That's the guy who owns this bike. Anyway, uh, we spent the morning hooking up uh, this new boiler unit to it. It's pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of some fiddly little stuff that takes a bit of time like making up some sort of a bracket to hold that coil in there but uh, other than that it should be ready to see if we can make a spark with it so i'm going to start off i'll hand that camera over to bobby and just get you to come in there on that plug before i kick it i'm going to see if she'll make a spark just by turning the key on and off I don't see anything there, but that doesn't mean it's time to despair, so uh, I'm just going to kick this engine over, see if we get a spark that way. The answer is no, so that's not so good. Let me try a different plug, maybe this one's too old and doesn't work, but... Okay, let's try that one. Oh. Try to take the end off and get a better connection. There we go. Okay, hands off. Stick that in the spark with the boot. Lay that on the cylinder head. See what happens with the key again. I don't see anything. Well, let's try the kick again. Don't see anything. So we'll have to figure out why that's not making a spark. Hopefully it hasn't failed right out of the box. It wouldn't be the first time. So. Well, we're right back to square one with this ignition system. Um, anyway, it wasn't a good day. It turned out that uh, I hooked that system up, as you've seen, and we just weren't getting any spark with it. I did test fire the coil using a, uh, a little condenser and touching it to the battery and the coil worked fine so it's not the coil the only thing left 
in the system after testing everything else was that little blue box, the uh, ignition control unit itself. And I got to tell you that this is about the fifth Boyer Branson unit that I have had fail right out of the box like this. I really think they need to step up their quality control because uh, I don't think I'm buying ever any more Boyer Branson units again after this. Anyhow, the seller on eBay, I was in touch with him and he said that we could return this unit, which is great, and I hope he reimburses us for it. So, uh, anyway, he said he's going to test it, but uh, that smells like something kind of stinky that you need to shovel up. Anyhow, that doesn't really matter, <laughs> as long as we get our money back for this unit. In the meantime, I think we're going to order something from Mike's XS to go in here. I don't know what they're selling now. I know they used to sell PAMCO ignitions, and I put a few of those in. Never had any trouble with them. The only problem is with those units is you have to also buy the electronic advance unit for it because they use the old uh, mechanical advance that would have been in the earlier models on the head. But uh, anyway, I say anyway a lot, don't I? So anyway. <laughs> Gonna return this box full of junk and hopefully we get our money back. And thanks for watching and uh, you can like, subscribe, and share if you want. And uh, anyway, next time we get the ignition carts for this bike, we'll carry on with it and see what happens then. Okay.